and welcome to my channel. So it's the beginning of June, June 2nd to be precise, and that means May completed pages. I didn't do too badly, especially in the circumstances because I was really busy, uh, but yeah, I got a few things done. I got one, I, I made a bit of a rod for my own back really, because there was one book in particular that I, I, I probably shouldn't have done it because I was so busy, but I did. Uh, Anyway, I'm jumping ahead. You'll have to see what I mean when I get to that book. Uh, but yeah, I've done a few books here. I've got some more at the side here. And I've done a couple of diamond paintings as well. I will show them as at the end as per usual. Uh, there is also a bit of a diamond painting, I don't know, an, an announcement, I guess you can call it. It's quite exciting. At least it, it's quite exciting for me. <laughs> You're probably like, eh. But if you do like or enjoy my diamond painting videos, then you'll definitely want to stick around to the end for that as well. But yeah, enough talking. Let's look at the pictures for May. Okay, so let's start with one of the easy ones. We'll get some of the 10 books to finish uh, out the way. Uh, I only did one from this book. This is my Relax and Colour Inverted Mandalas. For, so it's from Sun Life Drawing. And if you're not familiar with this book, it's one of these ones where you just get like the outline, the key line, and you fit it in. So I did this a very simple one. I did it in, what is it? Gel pens, that's the word. Uh, but they were like... They're not the neon ones, though this green is a bit neon-y, but they're like those sort of uh, pastel ones, the chalky, chalky chalky textured ones, the ones that you never know really what to do with. Uh, but they work great on the black background books, so I use them for them, and it's nice and bright and cheerful and kind of summery. That, that was my theory anyway. So yeah, I've not, I've not worked in this for a while as well, I didn't do anything in it last month. And uh, as I say, it's one of my books to finish, so I need to start cracking on, on that one, otherwise I'm not going to make it. But that's the first. So next I've got a picture from Midnight Butterflies by Marty Joe's Colouring. Uh, by the way, I'll leave links in the description below to all the books I show in this video. And also, check out the playlist for the flip throughs, if there's anything you see that you're interested in. Anyway, you might have seen this book, I did this in a... Was it colour and chat? Yes, colour and chat. I put it up in the corner and I did, I've done one picture. It's another one of these black background books. And this is the one I did. Ooh. It's a kind of, I don't know if you can see it. Obviously it's quite a bright sort of spring-like, early summery type flowery meadow type butterfly. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, but I've done this, well, I've done this in, um, I've done this in the Zebra Kira Rich. Uh, they're like kind of highlighters, but they're sparkly ones. I mean, you can see it in the packaging that it's uh, sparkles, but they've got like these chisel nibs. And I use them for this, which in hindsight probably wasn't the best idea because whilst they are nice and colourful, you can't actually see the sparkle very well because the, the lines are so narrow. But that all said, I still really like how it turned out. And when the sun does shine, it's behind a cloud at the moment, but when the sun does shine, I did find out that when you look at it sort of at an angle, it does sparkle. It, it is really cool, but it just, it's not showing on camera at the moment. So yeah, that was that one. So if you're a regular on this channel, you will recognize this book. This is another one of my 10 books to finish. It's also one of my favorite sort of non-thinky books. And basically the concept behind it is to do, it, they're silhouettes, but uh, you do them all in one colour. So I did two from it this month. So this is the first. And this one I kept really, really simple. So it might look black on camera, but this is actually really, really dark navy blue. And guess what? I tried these out again. I tried them out again, but with bigger spaces. And quite aside, uh, so I did all like their fins, obviously, in multicolours. So not only are they nice pastels, but uh, I wish it wasn't so cloudy. Why is it so cloudy today? But uh, these are super sparkly. It's a really, really, really nice shimmer on these. And I know it's not showing on camera anywhere near as much as it does in real life. But these, these pens, going back to them, uh, these are everything that I want the sparkle noir, no, not the sparkle noir, the spectrum noir sparkle pens. You know, they have them brush things that are a bit like Winkersella. 
and uh, there's another picture coming up that I've used them on and I just I still hate them well I don't hate them hates a very strong word I, I have a I, I don't love them <laughs> but these these are everything that I wanted the spectrum noir uh, sparkle pens to be and I love this picture as a result because yeah it's super it's nice pastels but it's also super sparkly so that's that one done and then I did one more in here and this one I just did in alcohol markers nice and simple uh, dark green dark red I got this sort of tan color because I thought of him as being a, a Labrador and the only other thing I've done in it is like his little dog collar I did that in metallic gel pen no glitter gel pen I should say but yeah nice and simple but I really like that color palette feels in a way it feels quite Christmassy because it's like that red green gold theoretically but and yet it's not Christmassy it's a lovely yeah no I the, both pictures that I did from this book this month I really enjoyed yeah so plodding my way through that still another one from my 10 books to finish and that's the 50 nighttime mandalas by Camellia Rangkova and I did this one so this one again has got well it's just yellow and orange I don't know why I kept thinking it like feels like because of these swirls it made me feel like it was sort of like a starfishy type thing you know what I mean sort of seaside-ish I don't know why it made no sense anyway because it's not seaside colors but I used red I used yeah no it's not red it's like a kind of deep orange sort of burnt orange a yellow and then this is the I think it shows up on camera it's the what's the word I'm looking for Pentel Pentel Jewel Metallics so this was the blue green and it's really lovely and I love how that one turned out because I love those pens <laughs> if I was on a desert island and I could only take one brand of gel pen with me it would be the, the Pentels Jewel Metallics or Sparkle Pops as they're known in the States love it anyway I'm I digress as I always do that's that one okay I did one from here this month so this is if I recall yes so this is the one that I did with the aforementioned spectrum noir sparkle pens and I used just a regular yeah regular um, Wow my words today they're just not coming alcohol marker <laughs> Wow so a regular alcohol marker and then I used like the sh um, it's called I can't remember moonlight I think moonlight spectrum noir and you can just maybe if if you catch it very very carefully in the light even in person though it's quite hard to pick up the sheen um, it is I mean you know you, if you're being kind you're saying it's subtle this one's very subtle <laughs> but as you can see I wrestled with it because we have yellow splodges here because these brush pens they always leak on me I mean I don't know maybe I just got a bad batch they uh, it was a pack of three and they're the only spectrum noir pens that I've ever tried of that brand so somebody else tell me if you've got more of the spectrum noirs do they do you have problems with them leaking because basically they're like a water brush pen and you you push and it pushes more liquid through but mine is just it's out of control like it, it gets stuck so then you're forced to push it through and then you push it through and it just goes out and then well anyway so that's that one <laughs> wow I'm just this chain of consciousness today sorry about that you get used to it so this is the book that I mentioned at the start that I made a bit of a, a rod for my own back because I didn't have a lot of time this month and I probably should have left it because this book is well, it's a mandala book and but they're the highly detailed ones so it's Camellia Rangkova and they're very 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 busy style um, mandalas all right so being busy obviously I went for something quick and easy I never learn but it, it did to be fair I think it came out really well but yeah so this is the one I did which is I think it's called because she gives the names highly detailed fire mandala so yeah it did feel fiery 
And so if you've seen my Johanna Bassford colour along where I do the dragon in gel pens, I literally just a rip from that for these flames. It was the red, the orange and the yellow, three glitter gel pens. It was even the cheapy Poundland ones, which is, you know, a dollar store equivalent. So it's all in glitter gel pen. And then I just got a black glitter gel pen because it, I just it needed a bit more punch so I just filled in some of the little gaps I say that as if I didn't think of that I left gaps deliberately for me to fill in with the black because I knew I wanted some contrast so yeah I did this but obviously it took me several days to do because quite apart from anything all the little details you do go a bit cross-eyed but for some reason not content with that I went with the the gel pen blending and it does look, I do like it. I really, I really, really like it actually. But yeah, I was just like, why? Why are you doing this to yourself? You have no time. And then you decide to blend gel pens on a busy mandala page. But anyway, that's that one done. Hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I really do like this book, but it's definitely something I have to be in the mood for and have time for. Okay, so this was one of the ones from my haul back in April and it's lots of dots and I've done one picture from here. I just really to try it out because I knew it would be quite quick so I did stick with one. They have them graded in easy, intermediate and advanced. I just went for an easy one because I'm not going to lie, I did it. Well, I spent so much time on the other mandala. <laughs> I just wanted to get one out of the way quick. So I figured the easy ones would be fast so I just quickly did this one and it, this is fun I enjoyed this I did this with my Fab Castell pit artist pens because they have like the, the colors are bright but they're also quite earthy and muted I know it sounds silly saying bright and muted uh, the colors are vibrant but you know saturated perhaps that's a better word yeah uh, but they're also very earthy tones so uh, yeah I just I really like it and they're and it's also it's in the ink so that, that I think leads in part to it being quite muted and soft and yeah I really like it my little frog so I did quickly just knock that one out I like this book I'm definitely it was in my June book bag because I definitely intend to get back to that this month Right, so next up Disney Classics colouring uh, this was one of my ones from 10 books to start for you know so that's good I've got this out of the way with um, I, I've actually done it as a buddy colour which was supposed to be done last month but I was too slow but I'm catching up I'm slowly catching up on my backlog of buddy colours so I did this with Minnie Rach who has a YouTube channel I will be sure to link her channel down below and I did this one put that in the frame uh, it's one of the few pictures I actually posted to Insta. You can always tell how busy I am in real life because I drop off of Instagram. I've coloured all these pictures. I think I cut. I posted two to Instagram though. So I did this in. I know you're gonna <laughs> gonna be like, <gasps> but I did do this in alcohol marker. But in my defence, this this page for some reason this the spread before this picture is exactly the same as that picture, which I never really understood. It's not even mirrored. It's literally a co copy and paste. Anyway, so I didn't mind sacrificing that. And so I did it in alcohol markers. I used glitter gel pen, obviously the Pentel metallics, I think for all of it. And I did do some little speckles of gold gel pen and purple metallic uh, on her dress. So you can't really see it looking straight on, but when you look at it, it's like kind of, I don't know, fairy dust. And the same thing with the uh, her hair because she you know she's got hair that glows when she sings so all the black key lines whilst it looks okay there normal there when you tilt it I've actually gone over yes I did go over all the strands of hair <laughs> all the key lines uh, with a gold pen uh, what I did have a small instant poor Rapunzel so at the length hour it's literally the last thing I was doing and I thought oh she's got some let's give her some pink lips and I thought oh I'll do it with a little um bit of gel pen and I don't know it just I, it must have had a fat nib or whatever I shouldn't have done it anyway so I put the gel pen on and like she looked as if she'd been smacked in the mouth with some bubble gum so I was like uh oh and I went to dab it off <laughs> 
and and then it looked like her whole face had been stabbed in a, in a bit of bubble gum. So we had to do some major repair work, which was tough because it was one of those situations where the more you try to fix it, the, the worse it gets. Anyway, so I had to get, in the end, I managed to scrape off a lot of the, the gel pen and I had to put the key line back in. But if you look really close, um, let's not look really close but poor Rapunzel it's all sort of black and smudgy in there so she does need a little bit of wax on her, on her top lip I know it's quite rude to point out when a lady has a moustache but uh, yeah she's got a bit of five o'clock shadow there never mind Rapunzel we won't talk of it again but <laughs> yes it was good fun and I did enjoy it even if I was really slow doing it so that's that one Next we have Animal Woodcut Designs. So this is another one that was an, a new book from my April haul. I, oh, I love this book. I've only, I actually wanted to get back and do a second picture this month. Ran out of time. But uh, the, the, the mind was truly willing. This is the one I did. So it is literally just with alcohol markers. So the style of this book is very, very bold black lines that it uses to create a sort of element of grayscale. So this was really, really, really simple to do. And I did it all in alcohol marker. Did I say that? I think so. And basically as my guide for this, you can see that obviously there's lots of white lines there that I've colored brown and in here there was more black. So I just took that to be my grayscale. So I used a lighter marker there. And then when it got into where there was more black, that's where I moved to the darker colors. And I just used that as my guide. And I really love how this picture turned out easy peasy i love it so yeah definitely definitely a book that i'll be working on next month and uh, do you know what hopefully uh, i don't know it's too early to say i might i always say this it's like oh you'll see a lot more of it and then i i, I, I it goes out of favor but i can see myself coloring in this one a lot to be honest yeah animal woodcut designs by tim foley so this is the deluxe edition there is a smaller edition as well he's got a couple of books this is like a combo Okay, and then we have this one, which was my other body colour, which I was also supposed to do last month, but just never got to it. Uh, so this is the Creative Haven Jane Austen Witty and Wise, and I wanted to do this kind of all in pastels. I did this as a body colour with Terra Lynn over on Instagram. She is one of my viewers as well, guess her. And um, yeah, so I've gone for the pastel vibe because I, I kind of want to do pastel all through this book it's just that's the way they've done their example pages and I thought yeah I like that so for now anyway I, I'm planning to do it all pastel so alcohol markers I think I did actually use my Copics for this because I have a nice pastel set of uh, colors in that and then over the top I just used um, I think I actually used my luminance because I figured you know I've used my Copics for the base I might as well use my favorite pencils as well so it's very simple some just straight coloring on the backgrounds and everything and then just where I've done the flowers I kept it simple and then I just used pencils just to bring in a little bit of coloring here and mostly just on this sort of hatch cross hatch thing the like the woven basket just to give some uh, depth and a little bit in the middle of the flowers but to be honest I didn't spend a whole lot of time with the shading I just wanted it I quite liked how it's going with all the colors um, and the other thing I've got is I've just got a little bit of gold gel pen on the sort of trim because I thought it was like a fancy teapot and a little bit of pink gel pen I use the Sakura the uh, stardust for those I don't use those pens very often but I use them for those because yeah because they have a sort of they're all they're a lot of a f they're very fine glitter gel pens the borders almost on metallic so yeah I just had it that vision of it being like the got the gold you know like when they do the gold inlay on things so yeah that is that one and that is my last picture for the month thank you so much if you're about to bail I'm about to do the diamond paintings uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you are leaving now on to the diamond paintings Right, I'll just keep that book there for the minute because before I do the diamond paintings, I want to tell you about my my big news, my announcement, whatever you want to call it. So if you are still here, presumably you are interested in diamond painting and 
You may have missed it, but in one of my colour and chats I mentioned I've just started a huge, huge diamond painting project for Heaven and Earth Designs, which is basically a cross stitch pattern that you convert into a diamond painting, like a do-it-yourself job. And it's massive, it's like nearly two metres wide, or over six, meet, uh, six feet wide. Uh, so it takes up an entire wall and for me it's a massive project it's something that I'm anticipating it'll probably take me like a couple of years to do and I know I wanted to talk about it but I also knew that the bulk of my viewers on this channel are only interested in adult colouring and I thought about it and I thought about it and it just it just didn't sit right with me that I wanted to talk about this huge project this diamond painting project and uh, you know I wanted to do it as a diary as a bit of a vlog I guess you know my journey through it and you know it just it wasn't sitting right with me to put all my subscribers who wasn't interested in that uh, through all those videos and also from my point of view from a selfish point of view I would probably feel a bit guilty about it because I want to talk about it a lot it's like it's really good <laughs> I'm really excited about it and it felt like I was having to rein in my own excitement because I didn't want to drive away anybody who viewed my channel who wasn't interested in diamond painting anyway very long story short too late I've decided to start a new channel it's a diamond painting channel oh my god it feels so strange I was starting from scratch it's like I, I wasn't satisfied with putting myself through the, the slog of getting that that 1000 subscribers for my coloring channel I've decided to start a new one and go through it all again <laughs> anyway originally named it's called pebbles diamond painting I know I know you'd never have guessed it anyway I will leave it no I've probably run out of links up in the corner I, if I haven't I, I'll put a link up in the corner to it uh, but also in the description below you or you can look it up as I say pebbles diamond painting and on that I'm gonna be doing my whole journey with this heaven and earth design uh, diamond painting and I figured you know obviously it made sense if I'm gonna be doing that over there I may as well just put all of my diamond painting stuff over there so I'm not going to move any of the videos that are already here. I'm still going to talk about diamond paintings in general on this channel. In other words, I'm still going to include it with my finished pictures each month and things like that. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be moving all my diamond painting across in future to this new channel. So all my unboxings, all my post reviews, all my diamond painting hauls and uh, which is the same as an unboxing I don't know why I said that twice but it also gives me as well freedom to do things like whip and chats so if you enjoy color and chats and you don't mind listening to um, you know listen to me while I'm doing a diamond painting as opposed to coloring then you'll like those as well because I could do whip and chats and kitten up videos and all this sort of uh, stuff that goes with diamond painting anyway do come and check me out Obviously you don't need to, uh, obviously I want you to subscribe to the new channel as well, but don't feel, don't do anything out of um, loyalty, I guess, for, uh, for the want of a better word, uh, because believe it or not, you're, if you're not interested in diamond painting, then you definitely should not subscribe if you don't think you're going to watch the videos, because that actually does the channel more harm than good, because I would post a video and it, YouTube will push it to all my subscribers and if you're not interested you're not going to watch the video and then YouTube goes ah ah they didn't like the videos if the subscribers don't like the videos and nobody else will either and then they don't push it out to new people so yeah I would love you to come and follow me over and subscribe and watch my videos but yeah just do it if that's what you genuinely are interested in. Don't feel that you should, you know, you're doing me a favour. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I am very wordy today. Anyway, that is the news. So let's look at the diamond paintings. Finally, you say. Right, so the first one, let me move that book over there. The first one, this is the one that came from my recent, uh, what was it, an unboxing for Colourful DIY so there was three diamond paintings in that one and this was like the small one oops i've just had a little bit of a shift there this was a small one which i loved it's only well it's supposed to be a 30 by 30. it's more like a well, actually it's not even a 25 but i think it's more like a 24 by 24 because these they've got a 
ledger legend thing on um, either side which has made it a bit smaller but it was really quick to do and it's so colorful i love it i love this picture i don't know why it just it just puts me in a happy place i think it's just because all the colors are so bright and random as well so that's the first one to do i that just took me a couple of days that i've just done right at the end of the month i, I almost didn't bother doing it and then i was like oh, so quick why not so yeah, that's the first one. It was actually a really nice canvas as well to work on. The diamonds are shiny, the canvas was sticky. Yeah, it was a very good first experience with this new company. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's that one. We'll put that over there. And then, oh, it's just, I've, I just threw that over there and there's a little bit of sun peeking through on the edge of the table and it's just gone all sparkly. I wish you could see it. <laughs> It looks lovely because you can never see the sparkle on diamond paintings on the camera. It makes me so sad. Anyway, this was the other one I did. I did this first and I did this early on in the month. So this was one from a fan sales haul that I had, I think, around November or December time. And it, this particular painting was a bit of... I knew it was a bit, uh, a bit suspect for its size because it's 30 by 40, but when that... When you take off the, the edge in, it's more like sort of 25 by 35. And so it, this was a kind of my first experiment of trying, you know, of a try it so you don't have to type scenario. You know what I mean? So it, it turned out okay. It wasn't as bad as I feared. When I unboxed this, I remember thinking, oh dear, <laughs> oh boy. But it's actually not too bad. When you look at it in close up and in person, it is really, really pixelated. I know looking through the camera, it looks a bit better. I asked my other half, he didn't know what it was. I didn't give him any clues. I just randomly, I said, so can you recognize it? He was like, yeah, is it is it like a river through the through the woods? I'm like, yeah. So he knew it without any prompting. So I think this is probably one of those scenarios that if you want to do this picture with a view to hanging it up on a wall that's going to be you know a decent way from where it's going to be viewed, it will be absolutely fine. But for anybody who who enjoys sort of flipping through their diamond paintings in the sort of portfolio, uh, the, the effect is obviously going to be wasted on it. But it did turn out quite well. Um, again, the diamonds were quite shiny. The when it when it did get painted, painted, you know, painted with diamonds, it's the the whites they used really bright white, so it did really make the water pop that it didn't do this on the canvas. The canvas was a lot more muted. So it the drills themselves did give that more contrast. And yeah, I, as I say, it's one of those things, I wanted to try it so that, you know, other people wouldn't have to if they was unsure. So whereas now you can look at it and think, no, not my thing. Or you can say, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna frame it and it's gonna be far enough away to, you know, get the proper effect. Cause this is supposed to be the thumbnail. I think you can see that I've got the camera I had to move the camera up a bit higher so I can't actually see I'm just hoping <laughs> anyway so that is the two diamond paintings let me get that one back because that's the prettier one so those are the two diamond paintings for the month don't forget to leave a thumbs up for this video don't forget to check out my new channel <laughs> and yeah that's it for the month Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you again soon. Bye for now.